Hey everyone, I'm Officer Eric Lemeron from the Wausau Police Department. Today we're going to discuss our portable radios that we use while we're out in the field. I was a pilot and now I'm an officer and those are two jobs that require a radio to perform their functions. Our radio that we're looking at today is the Motorola APX 6000. These radios can be quite sophisticated, so we wanted to show the community how they function and what they do. We use Motorola because they're a dependable brand, and when we're out there on the road, we really need something that's gonna hold up to the elements, to our job, because it's our lifeline to dispatch and, and to our other officers. This radio, is a digital radio. The transmissions and receptions on this radio for the police are encrypted through a special encryption code in each radio. Uh, only dispatch and the radios that have that encryption in it are able to hear those transmissions. That's important because should there be sensitive things that we need to discuss over the air with either dispatch or other officers, we can do that freely without having to worry about releasing unnecessary information to the community. So to start, the overall radio, you'll have the actual portable radio and a microphone, a remote microphone. And this is so that we don't have to pick up the radio every time we want to talk on it. Our, our microphones usually rest somewhere around our chest area. We can just talk with it. And one of the nice functions that this radio has is it talks to us. So when we turn it on, it tells us what channel we're on. It has two LCD screens, one on top, one on the front. Why that's important, when the radio rests in our belt, it rests upright. So this top LCD screen will tell me what I need to know, what channel I'm on, and who's transmitting. Uh, it's, we can scan with these radios, meaning we can listen to several frequencies at once, and it just sits there and rotates through the frequencies, and whenever it picks up a transmission, it'll stop on that channel. So we can monitor Wassa Fire, we can monitor the Sheriff's Department, they have three channels for them, County Fire, other agencies. It just makes it really nice, we, we kind of keep pace on what's going on around the county. There is a scan on and scan off button on the side here, so if, if there's just too much traffic in your ear and you're on a call or you're doing something and you don't want all that, all that background noise, you can take the scan off and then it just monitors the channel that you're selected up here. Uh, typically what should be Wausau PD channel. There's several zones on this radio. It's important because we could put certain channels in certain zones. It takes multiple channels and puts them just neatly in one package. You'll notice these two orange, we call them red, but orange buttons. Those are emergency buttons. If I'm in trouble or there's something going on that I can't get to my radio and talk, all I have to do is push that button it sends an alert to dispatch, and it also sends a specific ID that's, that says that it's my button. It'll leave the microphone open for around 30 seconds so the dispatch can hear what's going on, and they can kind of give the other responding units information. Of course, the, as soon as I push that button, multiple officers from multiple agencies will most likely be responding. Uh, each officer has their own radio. We're fortunate enough to not have to share radios. So on the screen is going to be my last name and my badge number. When I transmit by pushing this button or this button, my personal radio, radio ID goes to dispatch and they know that it's me that's transmitting. So people look at this and go, well, how does that work around the whole county? Well, fortunately, the Sheriff's Department maintains a network of antennas, radio antennas and repeaters. Uh, they're all over the county forming what, like a web almost, so that it can catch a transmission from anywhere we are and transmit it to the point that we're, we're looking to go. There's repeaters which take the signal and they repeat it to a larger antenna. Um, we don't do a lot with that at the police department because again, it is optimized by and maintained by the sheriff's department. Well, I appreciate you watching. That was the police radio that we use. Again, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.